up guys? So today I have a super busy day, um, just capturing content, shooting, filming, all that jazz, but I thought let me real quick just uh, set this up and talk to you guys because I want to be serious about this daily vlog stuff, so you know. I want to get quite deep real quick, um, there's something I really want to address. So I went to a nice meal with my friends. Uh, I didn't vlog it because you know when you're catching up, you just want to have a laugh and just enjoy the moment. Although the drive, oh my God, the drive to Malibu is so beautiful. So I will capture it another time for you guys. But um, I went to a really nice restaurant uh, called Joffrey's. The food was exquisite. It was so nice. So anyway, I'm enjoying my meal with my friends. Um, I'm with two black friends and then one mixed race. And the guy on the table next to us thinks it's appropriate and funny to ask the waiter to uh, get some bananas, implying for the waiter to get bananas for us before he swiftly exited the restaurant. Now, it's so painful and it really hurts that racism still exists. Like, it's not the racism that our ancestors um, or older generations experienced, but it's still racism and being made to feel like you don't belong because you're not part of the majority. Now, the reason I wanted to bring this to light is because I still experience racism online, even everyday life. And if you are one of these people, I want you to stop and think about how your words can affect someone and how it makes someone feel. After that situation, we decided to just uh, leave it. We didn't want our meal to be ruined. The only reason this guy could have thought it was appropriate to do that is because we were having a great time and he wanted to kill our mood. We wanted to carry on enjoying it, but afterwards I was thinking about all the things I should have said, all the things I should have done. Next time I'm taking a picture of your ass. Okay, not of your ass, but I'm taking a picture of you. <laughs> because that stuff is not acceptable. Like, God knows how others feel. So anyway, I wanted to talk about it, uh, get it off my chest, and hopefully I'll make someone else think before they think it's funny to be racist. I feel like we need to educate our children. We need to integrate with different cultures, different races, different religions. You know, educate ourselves. We're all human, man, and it should just be love. Anyway, that was super intense, but I love you guys. <laughs> you guys are great. So what am I doing next? Uh, I'm filming another video for you guys today. Uh, I've got some pictures that I'm doing now. Um, you may notice that my hair is straight. In a previous video, I'm talking about transitioning to my curly hair. I didn't straighten my hair for five months, but it got to a point where I did miss my straight hair. And you know, life is all about variety and balance. <laughs> So uh, sometimes you will see my hair straight and sometimes it'll be curly. What's up guys? So I just finished filming a whole bunch of pictures and videos. You can see the little setup behind me. It's funny because as soon as I finish recording, I am back in my comfy clothes. I was about to take my supplements. So uh, I'll show you what I'm about to take. Got my Omega Freeze, got my ABCs, my vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin B. And I've also started taking these ritual uh, essentials for women. I'm a big believer in vitamins. I rarely get ill. I might get a cold once a year. And as soon as I get that cold, I start taking uh, echinacea. So guys, if you have a cold, as soon as you can feel the signs, start taking that and oh my gosh, you'll get rid of it. But yeah, I love vitamins. Um, I don't like taking tablets like paracetamol, ibuprofen, antibiotics, nothing like that. And I'll always try and solve what's going on with vitamins. But anyway, as I was saying, I've just finished filming, recording, taking pictures. And it's funny because someone I follow on Twitter, uh, they tweeted saying um, something like, I can't take someone serious when they say they're a blogger. But I don't think people understand you know, what really goes into it, because there's a lot that goes into it. When you're the blogger, you're obviously the model, the photographer, the videographer, the stylist, the makeup artist, the editor, the writer. Not only that, you have to be great at editing pictures and videos as well. There's so much that goes into it, it's unreal. It's not as easy as it seems. Look at that top chandra, you guys like it? <laughs> she's She's repping team just lift. Passion, patience, consistency. She knows it. Is this mine? Uh, one of them's got triple C bass, one of them's got double, so. What's that one? The receipt says it, so. 
I don't know. Yeah, but I don't know. I just got to work out which one's got more sea bass. No, it's got a number on it. It says one and two. Oh. So my one's the more the extra sea bass. No, nah, no, nah, mine's the extra sea bass. Why would you have extra sea bass? <laughs> it's, it's a bit selfish. You just eat one. Sim has just brought me some food, which is good because I kind of forgot to eat. Like, I didn't forget to eat. I was doing stuff. That's bad, guys. Don't ever do that. Don't skip meals because you're too busy. Isn't that right, Cody? We eat in this household. Anyway, it's from this place. So I'm eating uh, sea bass, quinoa, avocado, tomatoes, some salad. Pretty damn good. My kind of meal. <laughs> I was trying to make you jump, <laughs> but I don't know why that would have worked. <laughs> Cody, we haven't said hi to Cody Bear today. He just grazed my bloody finger. Man. Cody Bear, look, watch this. Cody, 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 sit. <gasps> good boy, good boy. You're a good boy, Cody, huh? Sit, sit. Stay, stay. Good boy. Good boy, good boy. <laughs> um, I heard you yawn just then. Yeah. I heard you yawn. That's when we ain't got the power. Don't you? <laughs> Feeling super sleepy. Wait, this is trick. Am I in Chan's vlog? Sudden. Did I make it? You're in my vlog. I'm winning, I'm in Chan's vlog. You're here. <laughs> it's back day, starting my deadlift. So I'm heading to my photo shoot and I'm late. Sham was just telling me about her brushes. I interrupted at mid combo. So yeah, you did. Nice. No, I'm talking about your I brushes. I'm just talking about how expensive, decent, good brushes are. And now we're all wiser about <laughs> Sham's brushes. <laughs> What's up, guys? So me and Sim are both at work today. I'm a makeup artist for about three and a half years and I stopped only about a year and a half ago, which uh, a lot of you might be surprised about. Uh, I've mainly done bridal. Bridal was my favourite, and then obviously glam as well. But today I am doing an actor's portfolio. My bad boys. This is just a few of my brushes. Fresh though, who done your makeup? Oh, it's naturally like that. Oh, okay. It's naturally like that. I woke up like this. Wow, look how smooth. Yeah, yeah. That a soft skin. Yeah, I woke up like this. That's exactly <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we've just finished and it's literally it's a flood. Rain. Let me show you. Like, the car is about to drown. Like, crazy rain, man. 
We're soaked. Shoot was good though. Shoot was good. Got some great shots. Oh, yeah. Uh, Shan did my makeup good. Yeah, it's I, off now. You, you never think I'd ever say that. Shan did my makeup good. I know. <laughs> no, but no, it's the shots. I like your little personal makeup artist. The shots were good, man. Really good. So, uh, good morning. Now we need breakfast. Work. We haven't had breakfast, man. Haven't eaten. We just came straight to the shoot because we're running late, so yeah. we've got to go eat. Oh, yes.